We're going to do a little brief backyard chipping golf instruction. We're going to go through three different shots. We're going to go through a, a, just a rest standard chip shot. We're going to go through a pitch shot, which will be a little further, a little higher. And we're going to go through talking about a, a, a lob shot or a flop shot. And just kind of go through the mechanics of how you do those so that if you're like me, you don't have much time to practice your golf game, you can come out here in the backyard, you can work on the mechanics of these three shots, and I can guarantee you, you can take, take strokes off your score if you just take the time to get out in the backyard, pick you a target, and work on these three shots. This first shot we're going to work on is just a standard chip shot. This is a shot where you're just going to brush the ball off the grass and you're going to get the ball on the ground and rolling as quickly as possible. Square everything up, the club head goes through square. Um, it's just a simple little shot. This next shot is just your, your, your stock pitch shot. You're about twice as far away as we were on that other shot. You've got very little green to work with. You're just going to kind of get the ball up in the air. You've got, a, you've got a little green to work with. You've got no obstruction between you and the hole. So it's almost the same shot, except here we're probably going to be using the sand wedge, maybe the pitching wedge if you don't feel comfortable with the sand wedge. But you're just going to let the, the, the club do the work of getting the ball in the air and landing on the green. So here I want to get a little more acceleration, a little more speed, same mechanics, but we're going to take a little divot. We're going to hit down and through the ball and move a little grass behind, you know, in front of the ball after, after the strike. The divot's always on the target side. We're just going to get the ball a little higher up in the air. This last shot we're going to talk about is the flop shot. And uh, I'm going to use a 56 degree sand wedge here and just open the face. You could use a 60 degree wedge if you've got one. But I'm just going to take this 56. I'm going to open the face. I'm going to get some, I'm going to get some acceleration with the club with some wrist break and just slide this club under the ball, just kind of cutting its legs out from under it so that it goes high and lands softly. And you've got to put in a lot of practice on this shot because it's very difficult. There's a lot of room for error 